This afternoon, my agency's got me set up with an appointment for Smokey Joe's Cafe to play the Elvis role. And this won't be my first or even my fifth time putting on those sideburns. I've been singing Elvis songs since I was a kid because my daddy and mom liked hearing them. And in college, I found out there's a lot of Elvis or versions of Elvis to play. I'm not even including musicals like Million Dollar Quartet that actually have Elvis in them. Like Magaldi and Evita, Pharaoh and Joseph, Conrad in Bye Bye Birdie, not to mention Bring Back Birdie. Elvis is in a lot of shows. It's important to know your type and the range of roles you can play. And something that's definitely in my wheelhouse is Elvis. <laughs> He has served me well. Along the way, I've become a Graceland sanctioned Elvis tribute artist. I've taken my Elvis to several different countries aboard cruise ships, and uh, I even joined the professional union for playing Elvis. With both musical theater and pop music seeming to go higher and higher as the decades go on, one thing a baritone can rely on is Elvis. And I mean, who wouldn't want to be like Elvis? Well, except for at the end there. The man who introduced me to Elvis is probably the most important guy in my life after my husband. My father. Now, there's probably nothing more complicated in the world than the relationship between a gay son and their father. I am one of four boys, and to say that I stuck out is a bit of an understatement. And about the time I was figuring out why I wasn't like all the other boys in Iowa, my father was figuring out some things too. See, I'd always wanted to sing and dance all my life. When I was 14, my father made a similar realization. He retired from the military and became a full-time hypnotist and stage magician. Along the way, he's been a zombie in movies, done some lotto commercials, but the most proud of him I ever was is when he came to and spoke at my wedding. When you're young, a lot of people think their father can do anything. I'm over 30 and I know mine can. He's my biggest fan and he believed I could come to New York and be a singer long before I ever could. He has always told me that he is proud of me. But lately, I've been doing things I'm not so proud of. Now, I've never seen my father have more than, say, one beer with dinner. So, I don't know where I get it from. Maybe it's because I grew up feeling like such a dork and such an outsider. But for a long time now, social situations for me have seemed to require booze. And it seems like now I can't have one beer without having eight. And it's helped me throw a mean party, helped me learn to dance at a club, and... Uh, Heck, I've even made money at it. But somewhere along the way, it became not just St. Patrick's Day. It has become altogether too often, and it's gotten too hard to stop. I've quit for shows, I've quit for auditions, but this time, I'm just quitting from me. Because my father has always told me that he is proud of me, and I never want him to stop. Maybe in a few more months, I'll have some grip on this and be able to go back to drinking on the high holy days. But as for now, September 9th, I don't drink anymore. Now let's go book that part. Be my last day.